Hey everybody, my name is Ken, welcome back for the video of Last Judgment. We're gonna continue this series, boys. We're back again for one more video of this. I think we're coming up towards the end. We're in the last chapter after all, so uh, we're pretty much done with the game at this point. All we gotta do is uh, find out where Soma is once and for all. He came to us last video and actually ended up killing one of, uh, well, the biggest... Kuana's biggest goon, basically. And now we're basically on par with Kuana. We're shift. kind of working with How him again, but he, la uh, he took the chance to leave off. when that happened. Oh, so yeah. that we got to try and find both of them again. <laughs> I bet, tough guy. Kamarocho's finest detective never fails to impress. Doc, you made it. We've been asking around if anyone's seen Kuana. You don't want to know how that went. No leads, huh? Pretty much. Doesn't help that RK is crawling all over the place right now. Soon as they spot Kuana, they're gonna make their move. Kuana gave this to me yesterday. Isn't that Toshiro Ehara? Kuana-san called you out there just to give you this? Yep. He told me to give it to Ehara. What the? Oh man, it looks like it's cracked. Can you take a look at it, Tsukumo? I get the feeling it's no ordinary pendant. Certainly. Not handing it over to Ahara till you know what the deal is? Well, he won't mind, will he? Besides, I damn near got blown up over that thing. Speaking of, Yagamishiba, what's the status of Ahara's sexual battery trial? Saori-san's preparing for the appeal. Still no date, but the courts are working as fast as they can. If they accept the case and it goes to trial, They'll find out about Kawana one way or another. And that had put Reiko Kusumoto in public security in the shithouse, right? Right. If Kawana and his murders come to light, anyone connected to Reiko Kusumoto could be suspected as an accomplice. And if that happens, she'd lose any control she had over the pension fund. Interesting. Everyone wants their own brand of justice to come out on top. And enough is enough. If we don't handle this, public security will take out Kawana. And I can't let him die like that. Kawana's that dead. What's your next move? Yeah, well, gonna head to a I'm guessing what he means is he, he's not dead, but he's gonna die like soon, I guess. But I don't feel I don't feel like Kawana's gonna die at all, boys. He's gonna be fine. The surrounding the trial are completely Need him to go to prison after all. I can't help but consider how grand a task simply seeking the truth could be. Seriously. But exposing the truth is the only way to save some and get justice for others. We can't just stay quiet and watch. <laughs> Sounds like you're seeing the light. Detective work's not so bad, is it? <laughs> Can you guys keep an eye out for Kawana and Ijincho? I need to go over a Horace case with Sari-san. 10-4. We'll amp up surveillance. We're going to Sukiura. Time to get shit done. <laughs> right on. At least Kaido is a little bit more involved. I think uh, him being uh, knifed in the uh, in the in his uh, belly basically uh, got him motivated to do something in his life. So that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, we also, we have to travel somewhere, right? I think we gotta go, go to the Gendal Law Office. Okay, so I can take a taxi pretty much there, right? Yeah, I gotta go to Kam uh, Kamurucho over in order to do that because their office is literally in the other city. So I gotta go see Seri, it looks like. Let me uh, take another taxi if I can. Uh, yeah, take a taxi right away right there. So uh, we gotta talk to Seri. And with her, I imagine we're going to go see Ara and do the whole appeal thing again. Still trying to work on that, uh, that, that whole situation, boys. I gotta wait. There's a bunch of... Okay, no. It's just a bunch of dudes. Oh, they're all going to come on my ass. Right beside the goddamn store step. You gotta be shitting me. Really? That really looks like I want to fight a bunch of... Okay. You know what? Let's do it, boys. Let's just fight these goons, I guess. If they're gonna attack me, why not? Let's do it. Whoa, now. Okay, let me uh, do that. Taiko the, the judo takedown, boys. And... Woo, there we go. We're gonna just uh, do that. EX... Oh, okay. 
I want to kind of do the EAX action right there. Oh, hold on. That did not work, boys. Gotta watch out right here. Okay, I got him. It was kind of a rusty uh, fight right here. Wasn't prepared at all to fight a bunch of goons and fight that I had to do it. Kind of looked uh, a little bit iffy. Terry, I need to talk to you, man. We need to do something about the whole appeal. It needs well, to go it's on already. Full house. Shirosaki sensei asked me to come by. She said they needed some business handled while you were out of town. I find it hard to believe she'd put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not. Either way, I don't mind helping. Yagami-san, you're just in time. I think we should conduct another interview with Ahara-san. Okay, but what will we talk about? If we want to claim he's innocent of battery, then we need to prove he's the one who murdered Mikoshiba at the same time. But since the murder footage isn't admissible in court, we need something more substantial. All right, so the judge said they won't allow internet videos of unknown origins in court. Sure. So we need to find something else, but what Basically, are we going to find need exactly? New evidence. And that might mean something no one's seen or found yet. So your plan is to meet with Ahara and just ask him? I know it's a long shot, but yes. I'd like to come help, but someone has to check Higashi-san's work. Excuse me? If I have to be Hoshino-kun's lackey, I'm fucking out. I'd prefer if you addressed me as Hoshino-sensei. Okay. This yeah, this guy is out of his mind. I don't like this kid, boys. Really don't like Hoshino. Kind of, uh, he's a pervert, and at the same time, he's kind of an asshole. I don't really don't like him. Having another chat with him couldn't hurt. Sounds good. Oh, and look after Saori for me, would you? Sure, but Mafu, should you even be here? Won't the prosecution think you're double-crossing them? What do you mean? I am just here to get dirt on the defense. Expect Prosecutor Takano to hear all about it. <laughs> Guess we better watch ourselves. I still have some preparations to make. Yagami-san, why don't you go kill some time? I'll call you as soon as I'm ready. It shouldn't take long. Sure thing. Okay, that sounds some like, like some fitter Ahara's stuff. Wife. Even though they're separated, Ihara may have shared details about Mikoshiba's murder with her. Oh, and Higashi-san will be there to help. Okay. So kill some time until Seri is ready to go. That just sounds like a bunch of side quests we gotta do or something. Or just run around in the city. So I imagine I just gotta do that. Just run around in the city, waste some time a little bit. Because right now I literally have nothing else to do, so let's just uh oh there we go. I got the call. That wasn't uh that wasn't long at all. We should head to the detention center. Where are you? In Comrade Show. How about I take a cab and pick you up? If you please, I'll be waiting. Well, no need to pick a cab, I'm right there actually. I just crossed the streets and she just called me, so that did not take to, uh, long at all. It's right here, so Let's just go talk or to take the uh, take a taxi. Oh, I actually got to go to the actual detention center. All right, let's do it then. All right, we're back with Erara. For more information, I so guess. The murder footage can't be used as evidence. <laughs> I was hoping it be played in court for all to see. Yeah, and if it was, it would prove your innocence and overturn your battery conviction no problem. But the prosecution flat out refuses to accept you murdered Mikoshiba. There's no room for error. You could flat out confess and they would refuse to accept it. Excellent. In the end, they'll lock me up for battery. And I'll get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. We know all about what you and Kwana planned. We just don't have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> My condolences. Which reminds me. You said you'd confess to killing Mikoshiba after you got out of prison, right? Then, as icing on the cake, you'd admit the battery charge was false and humiliate the law for letting a murderer walk free. Exactly. The public must know that the law can't be trusted. Personally, I hope the media hops all over it. I bet you do. So, when that time comes, you'll need some decisive evidence of the murder so your confession holds water. Maybe you've got something like that in your back pocket already? <laughs> What's with him, boys? 
not a bad reaction from Ayara. Maybe there's really uh, some hard evidence. Yeah, he's probably hiding something else. Because we'd sure look good. We gotta grow, uh, rope him into uh, showing That's it to us, like giving it to us and stuff. All the way out here. Otherwise, we're kind of uh, messed up. We don't, we don't have anything under our hands right now. I have no intention of just handing it over. Handing it over? So you're saying there is still a piece of evidence we don't know about? <laughs> what is it, Aharasan? Even if there was, you'll never get your hands on it. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. What kind of material evidence is there even any? Could he, uh, what could he be hiding? Well, I don't know. He kept part of the corpse. That's kind of disgusting and creepy. Look, I don't want to think about it, but I feel like that might be the option right there, boys. It's it's disgusting and it's kind of out there, but I feel like that's what's going on here. Maybe it's a piece of Mikoshiba's body. Would you hide something like that? Well, was he missing any body parts? No, nothing indicated as such. Maybe it wasn't a missing body part. It could be as simple as some hair. Even if it was, that would hardly constitute evidence of Mikoshiba's murder. Hair could have come from anywhere or anyone. That's the extent of what you could prove. I suppose that's true. That's not it then? Okay, well, I'm le at least I'm relieved. I'm relieved to, to know about that. Well, I guess you still have the uh, the murder weapon, I guess. The murder weapon. Kanagawa PD said the weapon used to kill Mikoshiba still hadn't been found. Yet it appears in the footage without a doubt as to what it is. A knife. If it wasn't found at the murder scene, it's highly likely the suspect or an accomplice took it with them. Any normal criminal would have just ditched it somewhere. Except you're anything but normal. You got revenge for your son, and you want to publicly humiliate the law for letting you pull it off. Your point? If you were cleared of the battery charges and confessed to Mikoshiba's murder without evidence, no one would buy it. You'd need something convincing. Busting out the weapon no one's found yet would do the trick. That one piece of evidence would flip the whole case on its head. Well, look at you go. Then tell me, where do you surmise I've hidden this weapon? Well, right after killing Mikoshiba and Ujinsho, you would have had to book it to Ikebukuro Station. You had accomplices with you. And if that's the case, there would have been plenty of time to hide the weapon. Yeah, so that's about as far as I've thought this out. If that's it, then I'm done here. Kawana's vanished, Aharasan. Public security found out about him. Public security? Yeah, they're gonna Kawana come after you next. He won't make it to the end of Not sure why he's plan. so overconfident, boys. So they got the to Kawana. Obviously he's not dead, but he's already next is, is Aara for sure. I never expected to see him again anyway. At this point, he won't be able to outrun them. Public security catches him, he'll get much worse than an unfair trial. Burying him will be the least they do. What do you mean? What's going on? You remember last time? If you don't recall, I said you'd grab the tiger by the tail. And your tiger is public security? Right. And they're out there on the warpath. Everything has to be brought into the light. We need what you did to be exposed. Kawana can't be saved in any other way. I need your help, Aharsan. Then you lose. I'll never admit to killing Hiro Mikoshiba in court. The system can die. It threw Toshiro away. And I won't lift a finger to save it. Kawana-san knew how this could end. We have our convictions. When this started, we knew it could end up costing our lives. You knew going in, huh? And that's all? Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? 
maybe it is. Yagami-san. Do you remember my original request? To look into both the Hara incidents? I asked you to look into the train event, and then I asked you to look into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. And now, I'm afraid I have to make one more request of you. Do you still carry your defense attorney's lapel pin? Ehara-san's trial. I'd like you to take the floor with me to defend him. Wait, you? It's she wants me to actually be a lawyer, boys. Interesting. Sure about that? <laughs> you know, my legal counsel isn't cheap. I'll let Gendis then say no about the invoice. You got it. Count me in. You never know when something like this will happen. Check it out. I always have it on me. I know that. Huh? <laughs> you do? <laughs> what a girl. Alright, well, looks like uh, we're partnering up with her for the trial. We're actually playing the uh, lawyer part right here. So, Kaido and the others are looking for Kuana and Lincho. Uh, is there anything left to do before I go back? Absolutely not. The warning. Alright, so they're going, there's going to get some pretty intense... Uh, it is going to be pretty intense from here on out. So, if there's anything you still want to do in Kamurocho, now's the time. So, it's a point of no return, boys. Point of no return, which means we're definitely at the end, probably the last mission and stuff. Make preparations and head to Lichin Show. Let's head to the Lichin Show right away, boys. I don't have anything else to do. I do have 12k points. Nothing I can really spend it on, though. Maybe on the crane style, I can spend it on somewhere. Oh, there you go. Blow uh, Sky Dancer. There you go. Flying, um, a flying blow. All right, so let's let's go back to Lichin Show. And we're about to have the point of no return, probably the last mission of game and stuff like that. Hello. Doc, where are you at right now? Just got back to Yokohama, actually. You weren't spying on me, were you? <laughs> you just noticed? Everywhere you went, I know about it. And I mean everywhere. <sighs> where are you right now? Over at the Leomox place. Hoshinokun and Higashi are here too. Oh, right. They mentioned they were going to Yokohama to see Ahara's wife or something. Make your way over, will you? I need a full report, and I don't want to hear you were slacking. Well, look at you taking charge. Anything else, boss? Yeah, don't drag your feet along the way. All right, Kaido. Chill. Damn. All right, so we got to go uh, see them, I guess. So head to Yokohama Luyumang hideout. We're going to do that. Another taxi moment, boys. Just taking taxi across the board. Don't really care too much anymore. So, uh, Lynchian uh, Street. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna talk with our uh, with our people. I guess we're uh, we are guys, our friends. Let's see what they've got, what they've found out. I did forget as well uh, as well as Yagami. I forgot about the whole uh, the whole uh, wife of Eara thing. Forgot that uh, we sent some people there to talk to her. Yeah, I completely forgot about that, boys. I guess we're gonna have more info, uh, info and stuff. <laughs> Looks like the gang's all here. Everyone but the star of the show. Now that is next level ass kissing, Hoshinoku. <laughs> a good ass kisser is a good communicator. Welcome back, Yagami san. <laughs> Grab a seat, Tom. All right, so what you got for me, buddy? Nice. So you're really gonna stand in court again? Just it looks like it, I guess. <laughs> gonna be a lawyer, boys. Ah, I see. An interesting Does one. Mean I don't need to be present for Ahara-san's appeal? Yeah, you don't uh, need to. You can go back to your office and stop being a, an ask kisser. Sarisan question. Yagami's there. I don't see why you gotta be. <laughs> you're on thin ice, Oshinokun. You still gonna have a job if you're redundant? Yeah, I could probably take I your job. Plenty useful. At least a little. Should a lawyer really have to say that? This guy is kind of a rookie, huh? Ha! <laughs> he's supposed to be a lawyer. He doesn't, lawyer he doesn't even know if he's actually useful or not. What That's a all I got. creep. How about you guys? All right, better get all the info everyone got. So where's Kuana? You two met with Eara's wife. What's the word on RK? First off, 
What about the Arara's wife uh, thing? I completely forgot about that. Uh, wh what's going on with that? Oshinoku, Gashi, you two met with Ahara's wife? Yeah, but we didn't gain much from it. Turns out Ahara and his old lady don't really keep in touch. After her son took his life four years back, she refused to keep living under the same roof. Only reason she hasn't divorced him is because it's too much of a pain to process. She's That's some bullshit that excuse right there, boys. Was still alive. She let us light some incense on his altar, but she was pretty vacant the whole time. Did a hard battery charge come up at all? She said she didn't care. She didn't care her husband was out there groping women and killing bullies? Has she even seen Mikoshiba's murder footage? According to her, no. Really? That's hard to believe. Well, there's no easy way to put it, but it felt like she'd given up on everything. Made for a pretty depressing trip, I'll tell you that. All right then. So the, that went uh, that went no nowhere. I'm pretty sure if I went there myself, I would have found out a lot more than these two goons. I guess they they're not that good at uh, taking information away from people. So uh, where's Kuwana? Yeah, we're we're so easy. Did you find him or something? Any word on where he's hiding? Yeah, about that. We must have asked everyone in Ijin's show, but we got nothing. RK's out there looking for him too. They seem to think I've still got him under watch. On the flip side, that means they still haven't found him either. Well, yes, although that's not much consolation. You think Kuwana-san's still in one piece after the explosion? Alive, yes. Unharmed, I can't say. When I saw him, he was already making plans to disappear. But the real problem is what happens next. Now that he knows Riko Kusumoto betrayed him, we don't know Kawan's next move. I'd never let that slide if I were in his shoes. Maybe Kawana is thinking the same thing, you know? He spends all that time underground brooding and shit. Maybe he's really gonna stick it to Riko Kusumoto. Yeah, I could definitely see that. We can maybe try and find RK. So if we find them, the we'll Lord find Kawana maybe. Everywhere you look, they're strutting around like they own the place. And they know our faces, too. They stare us down, but never get too close. It's fucking annoying. Plus, they're acting like they're here to stay. They've been harassing the joints we have ties with. Harassing how? You know, shit like pretending to be normal customers, and dying dashing or complaining to mess with business. Then another guy will come in and be like, need protection? And suddenly they're charging a fee. That's some Yakuza shit right there. Old shit, too. The Yakuza who pulls that today is out in one shot under the anti-gang laws. And Soma? Is he still around town? Nah, there's nothing on him. Even if he is, he probably went underground by now. And Soma isn't exactly a social butterfly like Akutsu. Finding him is going to be a pain in the ass. Especially if he has public security's help. Unless it's a life or death situation, I doubt he'll show his face. Alright, so that's all we got. That's not a lot, up. boys. We literally so, have nothing on all me, three information. Out, that's great. I can find out about Kawana-san. Same. I just hope he's okay. Tsukumo-san and Sugiura-san do some impressive work. Yeah. You don't hold a candle to them, Hoshino-kun. Black belt in karate, and you never even use it. Well, I'm just more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. What kind anyway, of behind the scenes? Because it doesn't seem like you're doing shit Enjoy right yourself, now. And you know, uh, for all the shit talking I do to about Taito, you're even worse. Tesso said he'll let us stay if you do. No skin off my back, really. So what'll it be? All right, so I'll stay the night. I'll wander around a bit more. I'll stay the night. Why not, really boys? Night. Don't have anywhere Come else to go. Alright, so no luck finding Kuwana or Soma. I guess the means were done in uh, this city.
I guess uh, we gotta head back to Kamarucho, then there's nothing else for us to do here. Uh, let me see, make preparations, what does that mean? Alright, yeah, 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 I know. Point of no return, let's do this shit. Uh, I believe, I'm good to go. Really? Let's do this shit already, yeah. let's, uh, let's finish it up, boys. He had something he wanted to show you. He's upstairs. You mind going to him? Okay. So we're gonna talk to him, so he does, he did find out something about the whole, uh, pocket, uh, pocket watch or something. Or like the picture, the little picture he, uh, Kuana gave me. Tsukumo-kun, Yagami-san's here. Something up? Yes, it's about the pendant Kuana-san gave you. Turns out, it was just a decoy after all. Decoy? For what? For what was inside. This. The cracks in the pendant were hiding an SD card. And on it was some video data. Video data? Of what exactly? Do we have our actual evidence that we needed the all this of time? Murdering Hiro Mikoshiba, just like we saw before. No additional scenes. That doesn't make sense. Why would Kawana put his life on the line just to give me that? I mean, RK came after him and everything, and all for a video that's already all over the internet. Yes, except the video on that card is the original. All the others were copies of this source. In layman's terms, this is the master tape. Or in film, it'd be the negative. With no additions or modifications of any kind. What do you mean? And how do you know for sure? So this SD card here is a special little thing. You can't usually buy it in stores. It's called a worm, or write once, read many. If you were to take a picture with a digital camera, the images saved on this SD card couldn't be edited or deleted. It's what forensics teams use when photographing crime scenes. Which means what we have here is unaltered footage of Mikoshiba's murder. Which that means it, it, it can prove that it's not a deep fake. It is. It transformed the yeah, whole video the into an actual uh, good case. That's good. At the very least, something we can it's use. An internet copy with no origin. Hey. Think this will be enough to win the trial? <laughs> well, I can't guarantee that. But it does explain why Kuwana-san took such a risk. The video on here is the sole original. That's why he'd only leave it in the hands of someone he trusted. So the murder footage is on a warrant card. Does Kuwana want to use this in court? I don't know if he wants me to use it. I guess he, if he did intend on me finding Kawana out about it, this to that's sure, a strange move. I didn't think he was going to really work out uh, with me that uh, that far Maybe ahead. Kawana-san's way of entrusting you with the evidence you need. After all, with public security after him, he may not live to see tomorrow. And seeing how he's on the run, he had to find a way to get that into Ahara-san's hands. Which I think is why he left it all up to you, Yagamishi. And it's settled. It's about time I expose everyone involved in Mikoshiba's murder. Ahara, Kuwana, and his students. That's the first step to luring public security out in the open. And I believe the SD card will make that possible. So hey, looks like almost getting blown up was worth it. Uh, I guess so. Someone's coming in. Hey, um, what the fuck is this guy doing here? What the hell? What are you doing here? I was talking to the MRC guys earlier. Really? They said you'd be at this detective agency. Why were you talking okay? to the MRC for? Well, Akane started hanging out with some shady guys. So I figured I should talk to Yagami-san about this. Sounds like a tricky situation. Please, have a seat. Let me guess. I guess he wants Akane's us to help him, boys, with the whole Akane thing. Yeah, she got along with Miko Shoba in the basketball club. She's a little cynical and she bullied Koda. And she called me a prick multiple times, boys. Don't really like the girl, but it's not like I want her to get hurt or anything. Do I? So... Want to tell me more about these shady guys? They're these thugs from Tokyo. RK, they're called. 
They've been flirting with her. Okay. What else? Wait, she's she's with the arcane now. She flirted out she, some stuff. She pulled off some strong moves, have. boys. She went the other way, Stop opposite way, you, big time. Nagami -san. Well, that's nothing I can't handle. But rolling with RK is bad news. She needs to stop. Their leaders are ex Yakuza, you know. I knew it. So they actually are dangerous then. Of course they are. What's really going on? They asked Akane which student you cared about the most. Oh well, no. So she kind of blurted out Koda's name. She did what? Yeah. Even Akane knew she messed up. So she called me right after. Oh Nagami no, said, boys. You've been mixed up with RK, right? You think they might go after Koda? Can you try to get in touch with her? Actually, I haven't been able to. What about Akane? Oh, right. Uh, let me try and call. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, boys. I cannot believe this shit. Hello, Masun? Akane, where are you right now? The last place Mikoshiba Sensei was. Huh? I'm with RK. We're at the building where Mikoshiba Sensei's body was found. What Why? the hell are they doing Masun, here? Are you with Yagami already? How do you know about that? It's Yagami. Is Koda-san there too? She is. Yagami-san! It's me! Koda! Please! Help me! This Yagami? <laughs> Come on over and we'll play. You know the place, right? Who is this? Not important. Better hurry. Or else Koda-chan will have to entertain us. You know what I mean? You sick pricks. Please. Don't! What this is getting personal. Come down and find this out. is between me oh. and you, man. You don't have to hurt anybody else. What the fuck is this? These girls are as good as dead. Do you guys even understand what you're doing right now? <laughs> Better hurry. What the hell? What's happening? Matsu, you stay here. Tsukumo. I'll contact Kaito-san and Higashi-san for help. And I'll fly my drone out to the scene, too. Perfect. Counting on you. I'm pissed off. They're going after my, uh, my students. What the hell is this? Let's go, yagami -san. Hurry up, or I'm leaving without you. Hey, don't worry about it. Alright, so, we got the murder footage, the original one we can use in the trial. And now we gotta go save Koda's ass. Alright, and we gotta do it quick. Uh, first off, I do, I am going to do that in the next video though, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.